the missing piece? How do you get back to this I don't think there's any missing pieces. You know, I think uh, Coach Spav calls the game the called the game the way he's been calling them all season. And, you know, some of it, like I said earlier in the year, some of some things are dictated a little bit by what they give us. And obviously, Will has done a good job of making decisions and taking what they're given. So, you know, I don't I don't see that there's a problem. You know, a problem with the run game. The calls are there, and you know, if they give us a run, he hands it off and we run. If they're taking that away and giving us numbers to put the ball out on the perimeter, he's put the ball on the perimeter. So I, I don't mean that in a way like I'm debating or going against anything Coach Holgerson is saying because uh, we're all in the same meeting. You know, but to say something's broken or something because we had one one game where we didn't meet the same numbers that we met in the run game in the previous games. I, you know, I don't think there's a missing piece. We just took what they gave us. He was asked about opponents continue to load up the box and it just doesn't work. So watch. I mean, are you, are you surprised that the opponents keep doing that? No, because I think in football, I, I mean, I think as long as we've been, as long as I've been coaching and, and watching the game of football, usually the first thing you hear a head coach say is, we got to stop the run. And, you know, we're fortunate because we got a quarterback um, that can deal the ball around pretty good on the perimeter. And we got three really good, three really, three or four really good receivers that he can deal it out to. So, uh, we're fortunate from an offensive standpoint that we have several guys that can play this game at a high level. Uh, so we just have to continue executing. He's, he's shown us that uh, as a quarterback, he makes good decisions. And, you know, Coach Pavel has called him the right play. So we just have to execute, and whether that's executing the run game or execute uh, in the throw game. And obviously, Coach Lickle on the offensive line is done a really good job and Eli is a tight end so at the end of the day we we won this game so I, I really don't care whether we run for 500 yards or we throw for 500 at the end of the day we won now obviously we have to make sure we're doing what the head coach asked us to do and make sure we're doing the things the head coach wants to see uh, so we'll obviously continue to do those things that he mandates or asks us to do and do it to the best of our ability.